We are really excited to add the Movie Cinema Robot as a supported gimbal in Filmic Pro on both iOS and Android. And in this tutorial, you'll learn how to take control of your shooting experience directly from the Movie's hardware controls, that when coupled with Filmic Pro's extreme bit rates, live analytics, full manual controls, and Log V2, will give you the ultimate cinematic shooting experience on mobile. Let's start by familiarizing ourselves with the Movies button layout. The Cinema Robot is comprised of the D-pad on the front, the Action Trigger on the back, and the Record button just above it. And all of these buttons are utilized in Filmic Pro to give you complete control directly from the gimbal without having to tap your screen. Balancing a smartphone on the Movie is a breeze. Just pinch to open the phone clamp and slide your device in until balanced. With a little back and forth, you'll quickly find the perfect position. Then press the power button and you're ready to go. First of all, you'll want to ensure that you're running the latest Movi firmware, which you can check in the official Movi app. Just open Settings, then tap the cog, and check for updates here and apply any if available. Once done, head back to Filmic Pro, then open Settings, then Hardware, and with your Movi powered on and Bluetooth enabled on your device, tap to enable the Movi Cinema Robot. Once paired, you'll be using the same majestic experience you know and love from the Movi app, where the gimbal will intuitively follow your movements, smoothing them out as you go. Once paired, you'll see the Movi medallion at the top of the interface, which will display your mode, response speed, window setting, and the lock status of the roll and tilt motors. And now you're ready to take advantage of our three primary filmic shooting modes in Majestic. To progress through each mode, you can press the center D-pad button to cycle through them. You'll start in reticle mode. In this mode, the circular reticle is used to set your exposure and the square is used for focus, and each will respond to the section of the screen they cover. Pressing the center mode button again will take us into auto mode. In auto mode, we use a center weight of focus and exposure system, which is more ideal for run and gun shooting and pressing the mode button again takes us into manual mode where we get full control over our exposure and focus. Another press of the mode button will take us back into reticle mode. To start and stop a recording, just press the record button on the movie. By default, you'll start in reticle mode. However, the functionality we are about to cover applies identically to the auto mode. To lock your exposure reticle, press left once on the D-pad so it turns red. And to lock your focus, press right once on the D-pad. Press left or right again to toggle between locked and unlocked reticle states. And this allows you to lock your focus, for example, whilst allowing the exposure reticle to dynamically respond to lighting changes in your scene or vice versa. To lock or unlock both focus and exposure reticles concurrently, just press up on the D-pad. This is perfect for quickly locking both values and preventing fluctuations from occurring automatically whilst recording. A down press on the D-pad will quickly switch between your rear and selfie cameras. Now the above functionality is all achieved via a single press. However, we provide powerful manual override controls via a long press in both reticle and auto modes. A long press of the left D-pad will reveal the manual exposure arc. Now you can hold up or down to manually adjust your exposure. Once you have it dialed in, a single left press will close the arc and lock the value. The same is true for focus when we perform a long right press on the D-pad. It will reveal the manual focus arc and allow you to hold up or down to manually adjust your focus. Once set, a single right press will return you to your focus reticle. And if you're using a compatible multi-rear lens device like the iPhone 8 Plus, 10s, or Samsung 10s Plus, long pressing the down button will reveal the multi-lens selector. Now you can press the D-pad that corresponds to your desired lens to make the change. And lastly, let's press the mode button to enter manual mode. Here you can press or hold left or right to adjust your exposure manually, and up and down to adjust your focus. To get the most out of Filmic Pro's manual mode, enable live analytics and now any manual adjustments are accompanied by beautiful responsive analytics, zebras for exposure, and focus peaking for focus.
In addition to allowing you to control your capture experience directly from the Movi without tapping the screen, we also allow you to configure the Movi's response speed, window and motor locks directly from the gimbal as well. By default, pressing the action trigger once will lock or unlock the roll motor, which is also indicated in the Movi medallion. When unlocked, your smartphone will follow your roll movements. When locked, the roll motor will be centered and ignore any movement on the roll axis, however still continue to follow your pan and tilt. If we long press the action trigger, it will reveal the action trigger menu that allows you to perform four key functions. By pressing up on the D-pad, it will allow you to remap the action trigger behavior for a single press. We've already seen that the default is a roll lock, however if you press up once on the D-pad, we can change this to freeze mode instead. To dismiss the action trigger menu, press the center D-pad button. Now a single press of the action trigger will enable freeze mode, which locks all motors together and will ignore your movement. Press the trigger once more to return to Majestic. If we long press the action trigger to reveal the action menu again, we can also left press on the D-pad to cycle through the response speed of the gimbal and select a slow, medium or fast motor response. The slow setting is great for smooth cinematic moves, whereas fast will be ideal for sports. We can press right on the D-pad to set the window for the movie and toggle between narrow, medium and wide windows. The window will define how much movement is ignored before the movie follows your movements. If you want incredibly smooth results, then try medium or wide windows. And if you need an incredibly fast and snappy response, choose narrow. And lastly, a down press on the D-pad will automatically launch the player and let you review your last clip. To close the player, just press the action trigger or tap the X in the upper right. Well, we hope you enjoy shooting with the Movi Cinema Robot and Filmic Pro and that this tutorial gets you up and running quickly. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach us at support at filmicpro.com and we will be happy to assist. And remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more. Thanks a lot for watching.